So I'm back with another school lunch challenge and today's lunch option uh, included all of this great stuff to play around with. So the students got their milk, they've got some cheese cubes, some apple slices, some pear, um, a little bit of cream cheese uh, filling for the apples to dip in, and some Teddy Grahams. So we're gonna set those aside. We also got some cherry tomatoes. So we're gonna use the cheese, the cherry tomato, and some milk to go ahead and make a tomato cheddar soup. Um, so pretty easy with that. I'm gonna take a large mug. This is actually a soup mug meant for the microwave. It comes with a lid, which is great, um, or we can just put a cover over it. But we're gonna be starting out very simply by taking one tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my tomatoes and cut up my tomatoes to make them burst in the microwave. Now, if you don't cut them up, they are small grape tomatoes. Uh, they will end up bursting. It will take a little longer and they won't break down as much. So I just have a small utility knife. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut down my tomatoes into quarters and place them in the mug. So I'm gonna place the tomatoes, one tablespoon of butter, and a quarter teaspoon of dried basil in the mug to go ahead and soften the tomatoes, bring out the flavor of the basil. So I want a quarter teaspoon of basil. Okay. And so that I don't get splatter, I'm going to put the lid that came with it, but not completely on. I'm actually going to offset the lid. If you don't have a lid that comes with it, either a paper towel or uh, a piece of plastic wrap over the top. And we're going to microwave this for one minute. So very super simple. In the microwave for one minute, covered. And you can see that the tomatoes have kind of mushed down. We have that butter in there. That's going to give some richness to our soup. Two, we're gonna go ahead and add in a full carton of milk. So we're gonna add in two teaspoons of cornstarch. And I'm gonna add in two teaspoons, that's a two teaspoon measure right there. I'm gonna carefully shake it around to dissolve the cornstarch, hold that milk container tight. And the reason why I'm not doing this directly in the mug is because cornstarch needs to hydrate before you can actually put it in to thicken something. So if it gets hot, it'll start to lump up rather than thicken. So if you have a small little whisk or a fork, because you want to aerate it, kind of get those little starch particles broken up, you can go ahead and do that. And we're going to pour the whole container into the mug. So that's going to thicken for us. Now, in addition to that, we're going to dump in our cheese cubes. So we're going to open this up and all of the cheese cubes that come in one package, we're gonna go ahead and put in. We're gonna go put it back in the microwave for an additional minute, putting the lid slightly off center or plastic wrap or a paper towel, and then we'll see how it looks. So I've taken it out after one minute. Make sure you have a microwavable safe mug and that it's large enough to fit slightly more than your container of milk but you can see that the minute didn't quite dissolve my cheese cubes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in for an additional minute. So I want all these cheese, cheese cubes to dissolve, but you can see already I have a really nice looking soup. It's starting to get creamy. I'm gonna mix it up again, just to make sure that it keeps thickening. And then I'm gonna put it back into the microwave for one more minute. And that should be it, that should do it. So let's check it out. So after a second, minute, so two minutes in total with the milk and the cheese, you can actually see the cheese is starting to float to the top uh, and really has melted down. The soup is hot because it is soup. Okay, and go ahead and make that nice and creamy. So that's going to continue to melt as it sits for a few minutes and it will be hot. So please remember to give that time to cool down before you dig in but tomato, basil, cheddar, soup. And we used our lunch today. Get my soup spoon.
and that looks great. School lunch challenge accepted.